Hi, I'm Steve McCarthy with the Lemon International. I was managing director for the Olympic Torch Relay in 2002 that landed in Salt Lake City. We were going through our warehouse the other day and found a podium. There's only one or two of those left and a couple of lanterns and there's only one of those left now. We thought the best person that deserves to own this on behalf of Salt Lake City more than anybody is Lane Bates. Hey, Steve, what are you doing in here? I don't know, they just said that you were coming in here. How are you? Why heavens! It How is great been? to see you. It's great to see you. You all right? I, I have to know Molly's been involved in well, for this. Molly and Cameron. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you good? I don't know if all of you know or not um, our involvement. Uh, this is the man who put on all of the torch relay for the state of Utah. <coughs> Had a little help. Well, and I'm Mostly trying from not you. to get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I got phone calls how they were doing and what they were doing and were they on time and he finally called me and he said, <clears throat> Lane, you've got to come and see what we do before it comes into Utah. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, uh, so he was in California and, and, and literally we made a weekend of it and I flew down and, and got him in San Jose and, and I was absolutely blown away as I saw what takes place uh, to put on an Olympic torch relay and, and literally how they would know by what corner. If you saw the, the forms, uh, I mean he knew by what street, what corner, at, by minute if they were uh, ahead of schedule or on schedule and, and if the torch blew out as they were moving from one city to another how, the, how they had backup torches to make sure that it always remained lit with the original fire had to be the first and one <coughs> yeah. the organization I, I've never seen anything more impressive than the organization uh, that they had to have for it because this went this was was the most inclusive torch relay I think in the history of the Olympics um, yeah at that point it was yeah 48 of the 50 states 46 46 we hit. of the 50 and 60 plus days including Alaska yeah if, if, if uh, which was just amazing that was a good lift up there too wasn't Didn't that quite, amazing yeah, it was good yeah that was incredible time well this is why are we having this <laughs> well, we wanted to give you a little something. We were digging through the warehouse the other day and we found, found a couple of things that we thought you might like. Oh, my heavens. <clears throat> I couldn't understand why Joy was coming to town. <laughs> so I don't know if you recall oh this, <laughs> but we thought this would look a lot better in the Well, I want you to know it, it, it would be appreciated a lot more than in a warehouse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's pretty neat. <laughs> oh my heavens. I, I, even with the original tape, please speak directly into the mic. I don't think you need a microphone, but that's what, <laughs> that's what that was there for. <clears throat> what a history. Wow. That's been, that's been sitting there, and there's only, there were only a few of them we made. One, one alternate, because we had an A team and a B team going around the country. <clears throat> But this is the one, if you recall, that every mayor, every chamber of commerce head, every you know, NO, or national, national governing body would take a, a stab at and make a speech, which was kind of neat. You know, the other thing that they did on this Olympics, and I don't know who actually made the recommendation, probably the best recommendation, is that no, no legislator could run, in the, no elected official no, could yeah. run in the torch. Isn't that correct? Yeah. And, and so we, we literally had people that were willing to give up their office to be able to run <laughs> with the doors. And, and, uh, and so I was feeling uh, really fortunate that I was no longer president of the Senate. Uh, and, uh, and then he called and I was actually scheduled to run in, in Salt Lake. I'm going to get really emotional about this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, <clears throat> in California, the, the experiences everybody has are very different. And, uh, <clears throat> So he calls his lane, you gotta come, and we went and stood in the in the truck. You stand at the back of the truck and watch the people running right right behind you. Is that number one? Was that mm -hmm. number one vehicle? And and <clears throat> and, uh, and again the people and who they would run. And, and so I'm down there and he calls me <clears throat> and he says, Lane, um, we've just had a cancellation. Uh, would you like to run the torts here in California? And my very first thought was boy, why would I do that? Uh, I'll wait <laughs> so that my kids and grandkids or whoever could, you know, see me in Utah. <clears throat> and then I thought, well, how absolutely selfish. I thought, you know, if I run here, 
we can put another Utah to run in Utah. <laughs> so it was kind of fun. They got me an outfit and you put it on and you're, you know, you're feeling pretty good because you're all in white and you've got your torch and, and you're ready and they tell you, you know, you're, here's what's going to happen. They have motorcycles running along the side, different people uh, that, are, that are set to turn it on and light it. So, so when it comes, you put it out and, and, and away you run. And, and, I, and I, I think I set a world's record for running the torch. <laughs> because I really move fast and, <laughs> and you know you look back at tapes and you realize <laughs> you know you're just kind of <laughs> loping along and, and, uh, and, there's a, and because w before before they started he said to me Lane run <laughs> and they were trying to make up some time so I was uh, hurrying along and, and I get through and I'm all in my white gear I have my torch I, I light the person's torch that goes in the city and <clears throat> and I'm standing there on the street and usually the person gets back on a bus that is a, 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 a vehicle to pick people up so you get back on and then they take you and drop you off at a, a place but my uncle and aunt were gonna meet me and we we're gonna go to dinner so there I am in my <laughs> in my Olympic white outfit torch relay outfit and the neatest thing in the world <clears throat> So I'm, I'm feeling a little awkward about this because, you know, the, the torch is running down and the, the streets now are breaking up and lots of people on the street. <coughs> so I just went over to the curb and, and stepped up on the sidewalk uh, at an address where my uncle and cousins were going to come and meet me. And so I'm waiting for them and they're trying to make the way down and <coughs> to where I was. And, and there was a lady, uh, uh, a large, uh, and I remember because I'm all in white, and, uh, 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 a large lady and uh, and she had a little child with her <coughs> and and she was having a hard time and and she she was walking kind of like this and she had this little child she had brought out a grandchild to <coughs> to see the, the torch relay and she got to the curb to step up and uh, and that's when she looked up and I and there I was standing in my white <laughs> with my torch still in my hand. And she said, oh my heavens, it's the torch. <laughs> and, and I reached out my hand and helped her up onto the sidewalk. <laughs> and, she, and she called the child by name, which I don't remember. And she said, <clears throat> she said, this is the Olympic torch. And she came around and she put her arms around me and picked me up off of the ground. And she was just, <laughs> she was bouncing me. And she leaned back and she was just bouncing me off of the ground. And here I am. And, she, and tears are just flowing down her face. Honey, look at this. And, and come over here. And, and the little child comes over and latches onto one of my legs. <laughs> and so I knelt down and took my torch and said, would you like to hold the Olympic torch? And this this little child was, you know, and so I, I, I only wish I had a match and a key. <laughs> but so this little child holds the, the torch and, and again, the, the grandma is just absolutely in tears. <clears throat> so when you come, floods of emotion. Well, that, you know, when you see a torchbearer and, and you knew it from Media One, which is the cameraman and the videographer shooting backwards and a lot of times with li live footage going to air. So it, it never fails because we're behind every torchbearer in the command car and it never fails. You see the torchbearer for the first 30 meters. They get the flame from the previous torchbearer and then they start taking off and they can't believe that there's people cheering for them that they've never seen before. Don't know who they are in most cases. And they, t they take off either running at Mach 1 or they just, they're so stunned that they've, that they've got this torch that they just kind of stroll along and, and try to soak this in. But at 30 meters, you can almost set your watch by it. Everybody that runs has got the flame. They look out at this crowd, then they look up at the camera people and then they, they how good? <laughs> <coughs> you see that uh, they get this recognition that they're the only one on the face of the earth entrusted with the carriage of the flame in that moment. Yep. <coughs> the only one carrying a flame and, and they look at it as going back to 776 BC. To the, and there wasn't a relay until 1936. Well, I certainly felt like that. I didn't know it was unique. <laughs> I thought it was unique. It, but it is. I mean, but everybody, I think, has that same recognition that, oh my gosh, I better not drop this thing. And right. I, be I better carry it and I better do the right thing. But it's a, it's a magic spot. And when we came finally into, into 
into Salt Lake City and then get the lighting ceremony that night at opening ceremony at Rice Eccles, you, you go that full distance of when we lit, you know, in 2001 in Olympia from this parabolic mirror at the Temple of Hera where it goes back to 776 BC in the original games and it's a it's a pretty powerful experience to be part of that but if you remember you know when you make that speech at when a mayor makes a speech or whatever they've got that cauldron and we couldn't get the cauldron out here yet but we're working <laughs> on that it might be a little too big for this but you'll recall that the torch when you leave the flame from the torch, you put it in a lantern after you've yep. taken it from the yep. cauldron. So we thought it'd be good oh for you to... Oh, land. Are you serious? <laughs> That's... <coughs> Notice the smoke-colored glass. Yeah. This is the real deal. That's the real deal. Real deal. Real deal. <clears throat> they also had one of these, now, I don't know if it was the same kind, hanging on the fuselage of the Delta airplane. That's the one. That, that literally hung as we flew all the way over from Athens and into uh, into Atlanta. <coughs> That's the fuselage air lantern. That's you the number two lantern. Unbelievable. And you could sit in my seat and see it up there and I kept wondering, you know, what if it goes out? They've got another one in the back. So just amazing. Are you serious? So I hope you've got a good place to put that with your oh. collection. <laughs> I promise. I promise. This belongs what here. I mean, treat. Lane, with everything you did treat. to get oh. us home, <clears throat> this belongs here. Well, you know, it, it's nice to have people say that nice thing, but you, you know who got us here. Had it not been for the way that Salt Lake ran, we never would have gotten the permission from the IOC, who some of their members had come here, and the Athens Organizing Committee came for yep. their final run yep. through Salt Lake City, and that's when uh, we signed the deal with Athens to run the relay around the world. The IOC approved that conditional on the completion of the Salt Lake relay. Oh so yeah. since that went well, um, they decided it was okay to take it around amazing, the world. Amazing, amazing experience. <coughs> Thank you Thank so you. very much. No, I love you. Love you a lot, Mother. <laughs> this is totally unexpected. <laughs>